It's almost like we meant to do that. We didn't. We did not. That's just us, though. <clears throat> Here at More Guitars, that's just us. Cool hand, slow hand, <laughs> slow thing. So, anyway, we have the Eric Clapton Custom Shop 30th Anniversary Journeyman Strat in black. That's a long title. It's, yes. But it's worth it. It's worth it. This guitar has been through the mill, it looks like, but it's, it's fake. Relicking. It's beautiful. I don't love these guitars. I mean, I, honestly, when they first started relicking guitars, you know, it sucked. everyone had their opinion, you know, but then I played one. I played one. It's like, oh, this is like the perfect, like, worn and broken in leather jacket that you found at some thrift store that's like the legit thing. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's, it feels awesome. These are great. These yeah. are fantastic. Fantastic. So what do we have? We have an alder body hand mm -hmm. selected by the folks at the custom shop mm -hmm. and we have noiseless pickups. Yeah, yeah. I don't think they had those 30 years ago. <clears throat> Maybe they did. They didn't. Back in 88, I think they... they think so? They, yeah, yeah. Yes. I mean, this is like the version one of the noiseless pickups. They did they in 89. There you go. That's I go into that. TBX tone circuit. TBX. All right. So yeah, you got the center indent in the uh, tone knob. Here, check it out. Check it out. If you have a some mashed potatoes, it puts the gravy on. Yeah, this is mashed. Great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, one thing when we were setting up for this is, is, <laughs> That's a movie reference, by the way. You shouldn't go check it out. Um, anyway, so the, whenever we were hooking these things up, they're high output, man. They, they got a lot of oomph to them. So, like, this is clean. And I've, and I've got the gain dialed back from where we normally do on these TC-50s. And here you go. <laughs> got some onions on it. Yeah, it's even hitting at, that amp real hard. <laughs> <laughs> and that's at that half detented tone TPX. Is that TBX. right? TBX. TBX. B. So it's, it's yeah. you know, you, you really got to finesse. The idea is he used the volume knob and the tone knob a lot. That's how you're going to clean it up. It's got a battery in it, right? Yeah. Does it? You're so smart, Ed. I couldn't do this without you. Is this a maple neck and a fretboard? <laughs> it is, right? One piece? You know, it's something that really caught my eye. The staggered tuners. I know. Yeah, that was really pretty, pretty nice touch. Yes. Yeah. Staggering is what I do a lot of. <laughs> so the tuners on this thing, man, if you want to get, like, you talk about the gearing in this thing, if you want to get precisely in tune, I mean, you have to really dial this thing in to nail down a, a tune on this thing. I mean, it, it's great, but it's not like another guitar where you're just going to whip it and it's going to go in. I mean, you get it close and you're turning it and you're turning it and turning it and turning it and it finally clicks into tune, you know. So you're really dialing this thing in and it, it sounds amazing, obviously, when it's in tune as opposed to when it's not in tune. So... Um, Really cool guitar. I mean, it's 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 um, it's built for Eric. You can tell. I mean, it's he's got the you know he does he's if you watch his videos when he's playing live, it's, you know he's always tinkering with the volume knob. So that's where it's at with this beauty. Yeah. So you want to go through a couple different tones, maybe something a little cleaner, just so you can hear the. the so that what I noticed about it, and I want Ed to play with the volume rolled back a little bit, is. Sustain. I think the battery provides a considerable amount of sustain. Thank you. 
We're gonna hear that TBX tone circuit kicking in. Is that a new lick? I've never heard you play. Never oh. heard you play that. But. <laughs> better than what so I like got. I play five. the same crap all the time. <laughs> I got five in rotation. I pick up a guitar and I immediately go. That's all I got. So to me, like, I don't know that you're going to get a really sparkly, clean, like whenever we do like a little funk thing, you know, yeah, like in the like fourth classy. position. Yeah. You know, I don't think you're going to get that. It's jangly, but it's not yeah. it's not punching you in the throat. Mm -mm. You know, am I right? Yeah, you I feel completely agree. Cuz you woolly, you, woolly. You, you add that um, you add that extra little bit of volume boost and it kind of gets You know, you take that out. That's at 6. And at seven, seven and a half, it's it's over for the cleanliness. It's not godly. <laughs> so noiseless pickups, and, and that it, that is a big help. If they're going to be this high output, you're going to have to be quiet. You know, oh, shut yeah. your mouth. <laughs> shut your mouth. So there you have it, the Journeyman Strat Custom Shop. We got two of them. Awesome. We have two of them. Proper grammar. We don't got them. We have them, but we do got them. We already got them. Yeah, we got them in. Wow. So we got them here at moreguitars.com and here in the store in Evansville, Indiana. And uh, you can come by. More music and moreguitars.com. Please um, call Ed or myself or Rob and uh, chat with us. We will give you all the, the info that we can muster about these guitars and the other fine guitars in our collection. Um, we love doing this. We love talking to you people. And uh, we'd love for you to subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you would be so kind. So, Ed, good job. You're always the poop. Anyway, that's Ed. This is Brett. See you from moreguitars.com. Peace.